What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on the 111% walkthrough for moving out. Specifically, we're going to be working on the sealed storehouse level, which is the 18th level in the game. So, first and foremost, we're going to be turning on assist mode as usual. This is an effort to make the levels a lot easier to complete on solo. You want to make sure that you activate all of the assist mode features except for skip level on fail. Other than that, let's go ahead and break down the level real quick. We do have to deliver 27 items in under 6 minutes and 30 seconds for gold time. The gold medal is going to be pretty easy on this one with assist mode. We have three bonus objectives. We have to deliver all the small crates first. Second bonus objective is for getting a workout. To get this one, we need to run on the conveyor belt for longer than 10 seconds. If you're gonna try to do this all in one run, just don't expect it to notify you once you get the bonus objective, because if you're familiar with the game, it does not show you the bonus objectives until you've completed the level at least once. So you won't get those notifications until at least your second playthrough. But yeah, that second objective is for running on a conveyor belt for longer than 10 seconds. Third bonus objective is for not taking any items through the door. So there are conveyor belts throughout this level that go from room to room. The room that it all starts off in is the blue room on the left, and then it goes into the second nearest blue room, and then to the nearest green tile room, and then to the second green tile room, and then it goes to the yellow room. So we're going to have to use that path to move all of the items through this house or building. Now I know I'm going kind of fast in this video, but the hidden video game console was located in the blue tile room, the one with the water tank with the fish in it. It's located to the left of the conveyor belt. It's kind of hidden in the corner. While you're in that room, you might as well empty it out and just start moving all of the items that you need to move from room to room. At least if you want to do everything in one run and get the gold medal. Gotta admit, this one is going to be pretty difficult to get in one run. More than likely, it's going to take two runs. Personally, it took me two runs uh, just because I didn't know how long to run on the treadmill exactly. And I ended up counting it and it is 10 seconds. Now, other than that, I want to talk about the bonus objective for not putting any items through the doors. So first and foremost, you can use the doors yourself. You just cannot have any items touch the doors. So even if any items touch it, you don't necessarily put them through the door, this will disable that bonus objective. So if you see any items, whether you need to collect them or not, touch a door, just know that that disabled your bonus objective and you're going to need to restart it. Other than that, don't forget that we do have a bonus objective for delivering all the small crates first. These are the small one by one crates. Right now, I'm just trying to get everything lined up um, from room to room because I was trying to attempt to get a gold on the same run. Now I do got all of the small crates lined up here. Now the tricky or difficult part of this is, is that you need to get the crates past this tower of green barrels without knocking them over because if you knock them over, they're going to get delivered before your boxes. And the bonus objective is for delivering all of the small crates first. So I recommend just holding throw and lining it up and throwing them through the cracks that way you don't knock over any barrels because if you try to walk through the boxes you can easily accidentally move far you know wobble to the left or to the right and knock over that tower of barrels so throwing it is going to be much better in terms of making sure you don't have to restart after you deliver all of the small crates first you can go ahead and knock over those barrels now we're just trying to finish the level while making sure we do not touch any doors with any of the items. So just move them from room to room using the conveyor belts and then eventually you're going to get it to the last conveyor belt, the one above the peach tile, yellow tile, I don't know what you wanna call that. I think it's like peach colored, I guess. But you just wanna throw everything on the other conveyor belt that takes everything to the truck. After that, you should have accomplished everything. You may need to do a second run for the gold medal and maybe for the workout bonus objective. Again, if you didn't get that one, just run on the conveyor belt for 10 seconds until you get the notification. However, just know that notification is not going to pop if this is your first run. You do need to complete the level at least one time for it to show you a notification 
or show you what the bonus objectives are. Besides that, that about wraps up my walkthrough for the sealed storehouse level, which is the 18th level in the game. By now, you should have a gold medal, you should have accomplished all three bonus objectives, and you should have collected the hidden video game console. Make sure you keep an eye out for my next upload in this series. It's going to be for the 19th level called the Locked Lever Lab. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.